coming at you. So I told you last week, instead of a show, I was probably just going to do a review, which I normally don't do. I usually don't show hauls or anything like that, but um, I figured I'm going to crack this open today. So I'm actually filming this earlier in the week, <clears throat> and I will do a review on this because I think it's a really cool box set. But before I get started on that, and I'll probably do this one another week, a different week, but uh, before I get started on that, I just want to show you guys some really good deals. Like I said, I usually don't show my hauls and stuff like that. I usually use my displays as my hauls, but I went over to TJ Maxx, um, and I found all these Joes for $3.99 each, so I, I want to get you guys on this. Um, I don't really have a Marshalls in my area, and Ross never has anything, but for some reason, TJ Maxx just was stockpiled with these things. These, they just put on the shelf. They didn't even put the price tag on them yet. The guy, right when I got there, he was putting these out on the shelf, and I grabbed a mess of these troopers. I already got some of them coming, too, so now I'm going to have a whole bunch. And I was just wondering why they're different. If you see, this guy is holding a rifle in his hand and has the pistols carded. And this guy's got the pistols in his hand and has the rifle carded. So I don't know if there's another pistol in this one or not. But anyways, so I picked up eight of these. <laughs> you know, $3.99 each. That's a real good price. And then I picked up this just because I wanted the dog, really. Uh, this Storm Shadow because I'm planning on doing like a little uh, customization with it. And then I got this Snake Eyes. Again, I want to do a custom with it because I like that jacket on him. So, yeah, three ninety nine each at uh, TJ Maxx. I didn't even know TJ Maxx had uh, toys and stuff. Then I found this. This is a gem, man. Found this at TJ Maxx for four ninety nine. That's crazy. I've never even seen this in stores. Actually, I've never seen any of this in stores. And TJ Maxx has it all. I mean, they had the other Iron Man stuff too. I just ran out of money after buying all these Joes. So, uh. Yeah, so go check out, if you got TJ Maxx, go check it out. I guess they're like the same thing as Marshalls or whatever. But I was actually in there buying a sweater and I just stumbled on these. So that was pretty cool. And then there's a, a website called Puzzles where I picked up all this stuff from. I got this for like five bucks. I got each one of these for I think three bucks each. And I spent a certain amount of money that I got free shipping on all of them. So... I think this snake eye is pretty badass too. And then I got this one too. And I got this thing, action figure from there. And uh, he was only, I want to say 10 bucks. I don't even think he was 10 bucks actually. And like I said, all free shipping. So I'm starting to build up my Joes now. Um, mostly, I, you know, I said this last video too. Mostly I only like the Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. And I want to try to do some like still motion with them. That's why I'm grabbing up as many as I can. But I kind of want to do like a collage actually with them, like Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes through the years. I'm planning on a display like that soon. But yeah, but I think this was the best find. I mean, I I had to have Boog get me one of these from New York, which the prices are outrageous out there, you know. And here it says compare at eight dollars. I've never seen these in the store for eight bucks. So, now I got two of these. I might actually trade this one away. I don't know. But, like I said, check out TJ Maxx. But, let's get into the review. Alright, so, like I said before, we got Zartan, a Trooper, Destro, Cobra Commander, Baroness, Storm Shadow, and Firefly. And, I'm not going to really get into the box or anything like that. I mean, I'll flip it over real quick. And, that's about it. That's it. I'm just going to get into the figures. Inside the box, there's a whole thing of the file cards. So that's pretty cool, too. And they're sealed up. Each one of them's in there. First up is Zartan. I'm just going to run through each one of these really fast. So uh, his head is kind of hindered by the hood, along with his ab crunch slash swivel because he's got this armor on. The arms do move up pretty far, even though it's got the armor and it's a ball joint. No cut at the bicep or anything. I don't know if all Joes have that or not, along with the cut at the, the leg down there. Um, his elbow does have a swivel and a bend to it, though, and his wrist swivels. And then he's got, like, the old-school G.I. Joe joint down there, and uh, it moves really well. Double-jointed knee, 
and it rotates and goes up and down at the ankle. So the detail on this guy is amazing. And he comes with this gun here, which he doesn't hold that well. I still got the rubber band around that one. And then he's got this gun here, which he holds really good, actually. Oh, if I can get it in. Well, anyways, I don't want to spend a lot of time. But it, he does hold it well, trust me. Um, the only gripe I really have is each one of these figures have this screw in it, which I don't like. But other than that, really nice. Okay, and then there's the Alley Viper. Uh, all the same articulation as Zartan. His head does move a lot better because no hood. Uh, the arms have this padding on it, but it's really soft, so it can still go up and down. It is hindered a little bit. The waist joint, the ab crunch and the, the turn, doesn't work at all because of this vest. This vest is removable, but I don't really want to take it off. Um, yeah, there you go. If you take it off, it moves, but... It comes off pretty easy if you try to turn it too. His legs are super loose, but still, I like the design on this guy. I would love to army build these, but I can't find them single carded. And once again, he's got the screws in the leg, which I don't like. He does have the whole peg back there for a backpack or something. These guys really didn't come with backpacks, but he comes with this gun. It's like a shotgun. I don't know anything about the gun, so I'm, I'm not even going to try to name them. But, and then let me just show you in the rest of this pack, because they do come with a bunch of other guns, and I'm not sure who they go to. So this one, I think, goes with the Alley Viper. So does this one, maybe. This case, I'm sure, is going to go with Destro. It's got Mars on it. And this extra arm, I have no idea who that goes with. Uh, the knife is going to go with Cobra Commander. Uh, and then this big rocket-looking thing is going to go with Firefly. So I'm not going to pull each one of those out, but also I want to show you it has this pack here with all the stands on it, and there's more accessories in there. Like there's another knife, little hand pistols, all through there. I mean, there's tons of stuff in here. Uh, yeah, more knives, more guns. There's at least four pistols in there and knives and stuff, so that's pretty cool. This stuff is Destro. So just like all the figures, the head doesn't really move up and down that well. It does go side to side. There's nothing blocking the arm articulation, the shoulder, so it goes up and down really well. Also, there's nothing blocking the ab swivel, so that goes back and forth. There is no ab crunch, so I'm assuming that none of the figures have ab crunches. Um, all the rest of the articulation is the same. The legs do get hindered by the, the skirt that he has, but it's a soft plastic, so you can kind of work around it and still pose them pretty well. Also he has these two pistol holders and I guess the two there's a bunch of pistols in that little bag with all the stands and I guess those go in there. And then the other gun that I'm sure goes with him because it was he was holding it in the package is this here. Real nice looking gun. The detail I really like the design on this Destro. I think the head's a little small but other than that the detail is really nice. Cobra Commander, one of my favorite characters in all G.I. Joe. Uh, this is a really great design of him too, I really like it. Uh, the helmet is removable and he's just got a chrome dome all the way around, which is pretty cool. And it helps with the articulation because his head does move up further than any one of them so far and down pretty good, but you can kind of angle the mask because it's removable and it makes him look down or up, you know, more. Um, the arms are hindered by this cape he's got, like the cloak, and he's got a little different articulation. He doesn't uh, swivel at the wrist, he swivels up top at the gloves. That one don't want to move for some reason, but this one, he's going on top of the glove. And he also swivels at the elbow, so he's got two points right there. Um, and he's got a, a waist joint instead of that upper, upper abdomen joint, which I hate. Uh, I like that waist joint. It gets hindered going this direction, but this way it's pretty good. And that just looks so much better than that abdomen thing. Um, his legs are hindered by the uh, skirt and cape and stuff. And his ankles don't really point as well as the other ones do. But they still rotate and everything. Uh, really nice looking figure. He comes with a dagger, which I showed earlier, and his sword, which he holds really well, the sword. It's always nice when a character can hold their weapons good. So, 
And there you have it. Cobra Commander. Really great detail. Really uh, great rendition of, of the Commander. I love this Cobra on his chest too. I think that is just really nice. It's sculpted, not painted. So, real nice figure. The Baroness. I don't particularly like this rendition of her. I don't, I don't like the gray in there. I would have liked it a lot better if it was all black, but uh, just like Cobra Commander, that Cobra on her chest is um, sculpted on and it's really nice, really super clean. In fact, the paint apps on every single figure in this box set are just clean, clean, clean. Um, her articulation is the same. It's hindered, the head's hindered by the hair and it sucks because it doesn't go back at all and I feel like she's looking down like all the time she's got that abdomen joint which sucks but um, and then her arms really remind me of a Marvel legend they're so small and petite she t swivels at the glove just like Cobra Commander did uh, these two guns she comes with are pretty cool but she doesn't hold them that well uh, I'm not sure what kind of guns those are some Uzis or something. Um, and then her legs are hindered a little bit by this skirt. It looks like the legs starting to come apart right there too, which I don't like. But the way she stands is, it's really hard to stand her. She's got these tiny, tiny feet with the heels on. So that reminds me of a Marvel Legends too, like um, Spider Woman or something. But the detail on her is real nice. The paint app right here. This is the first time I've seen any sloppiness on Storm Shadow. Not the best rendition of Storm Shadow. He's pretty cool. Uh, he could use some more articulation for a ninja, but this box set is pretty, sticks pretty much to the same uh, recipe for all the figures. Uh, so he's got these two swords and the claw. And everything is pretty much removable on him, which is a cool thing. Uh, so the hood does come off, and I, I like him better without the hood because that hood is way too big on him. Uh, this rope will come off, the gi will come off, the backpack. So it's all removable, um, and it's exact same articulation as Artan was. Uh, let's see where the swivel is. Uh, except the swivel is up on the cut here where his bands are. Uh, he's got his tattoos, you know, his clan tattoo and the cobra tattoo. Uh, he's he's alright. I think the gi is way too big. The hood was way too big. Um, but he's still a pretty nice figure. Last up is Firefly. Not my favorite rendition of Firefly, but still looks pretty nice. Uh, the head has the same problem, no up and down. Once again, the jacket is it, eliminating the ab articulation, whatever you want to call it, the abdomen. Um, the arms go up pretty high, but he's also got this armor, and he's got the swivel at the wrist. Other than that, everything is the same as uh, most of the other figures. He comes with this gun and this backpack, which the pack is actually pretty detailed. Um, real, you know, pretty nice looking figure. Uh, the Cobra's painted on, but not bad. And he also comes with a really big gun, too. I'm not even sure what that thing was. So, like a rocket launcher or whatever. So that's it. Um, out of this whole pack, my favorite has to be Cobra Commander. Even though our articulation gets hindered and stuff like that. The Cobra Commander and the Trooper are actually my favorites. And surprisingly, I'm not a Zartan fan, but that Zartan is pretty cool. Destro's alright. The Baroness could have been better if the paint was all black. I think that would have been one of the best figures, too. Uh, my biggest letdown is the Storm Shadow, actually. Uh, not my favorite Storm Shadow. But yeah, Cobra Commander for the win right there. And this pack is really great. If you could get this for a cheap price, I would do it. But that's it, guys. All right, I'll see you next week with a tournament entry video. And that's it. Peace.